son of Krypton, Superman, James Howlett, Logan, the Wolverine, the strongest hero versus the sharpest weapon. What would really happen if Wolverine took a swipe at Supes? No more forum arguments, no more speculation, well, at least not as much. Could Wolverine's claws cut Superman? For those of you who may not know, the mutant known as Wolverine is a man with superhuman regenerative capabilities and a skeleton coated in a nigh-indestructible metal called adamantium. The most recognizable thing about Wolverine, his claws are the subject of many a nerd fight. But how sharp are they? That's what we're going to find out. First of all, how does a blade cut? Cutting something is a matter of pressure, or a certain amount of force applied over a certain area. The greater the force, or the smaller the area, the greater the pressure. This relationship is what blades maximize. By applying a very large force over a small area, just the blade's edge, it creates a tremendous pressure that can overcome a material's ultimate tensile strength, or how much pressure something can handle before it rips through. Oh no! If Wolverine's claws are as sharp as nerds say, then he either needs to apply a ton of force or possess incredibly sharp blades. How thin a knife's cutting edge is, is its sharpness. And with most knives that you're familiar with, that's sharper than you know. Take for example this unexpected katana and zoom in on its edge. What you're seeing is not actually the edge of this blade. That is just the limit of the resolution of your eyes. On a really sharp knife, the cutting edge is literally invisible. That's because some of the sharpest blades we have, like a razor blade, are only molecules thick at the cutting edge. And so applying even a small force creates enough pressure to move a material's molecules out of the way. But even the sharpest blade or claw will be useless unless the material has a decent hardness, or else the blade is liable to dull or break on the first cut. Hardness is a complicated property based on atomic structure and strength and toughness, but thankfully adamantium is indestructible. So here we only have to worry about sharpness. So how sharp are Wolverine's claws and is there a limit to how sharp they could be? We could start with what we've seen Wolverine slice. From the movies, we know that he can cut through Humvees and gun barrels and the Statue of Liberty, meaning that he can cut through steel and iron and copper. Wait, you can't just change directions in the air, like, because if you were trying to... The strongest of these materials is high-grade steel with an ultimate tensile strength of 2,700 megapascals, or around 400,000 pounds per square inch. Now, if Wolverine's claws are 25 centimeters long, check out my previous episode on Wolverine of Because Science, and he swipes with the force of maybe a heavyweight boxer's punch, then to cut through this steel, his blades would have to be just seven micrometers thick, or 14 times thinner than a human hair. And then he can cut through this steel and all of the other materials that we've mentioned so far. But does this thinness make sense? Well, sure, blades get even thinner than this. This is obsidian. It's a naturally occurring volcanic glass that can be broken off into flakes widely considered to be the sharpest knives known to man. Humans have been using them for centuries and some surgeons use them today. Their blades at the cutting edge are just three nanometers thick, thin enough to pass through the diameter of DNA. Assuming the limit on both Wolverine's strength and his blade thickness, could Wolverine cut Superman? That depends on what you nerds are willing to accept. Did Stryker somehow sharpen Wolverine's adamantium claws prior to setting such that they'd be like the sharpest blades known to man? Or do we only go with the examples we've seen in the movies? Okay, so maybe they mean that he's only cutting through a bit of the crown and then the friction is taking him around in a rotational, but wait, but then if you were to try, what the heck, if Superman has crazy strong skin, let's give Wolverine kick-ass indestructible blades sharp as the sharpest knives known to man. So if Wolverine's blades are 25 centimeters long and only three nanometers thick at the cutting edge, Logan would only have to press down with a hundred newtons of force, about 25 pounds or around 10 kilograms, to cut through a material with the highest tensile strength on Earth, graphene. 
And if Wolverine struck with full force at the edge of his blades would be a pressure 17 times greater than that at the center of the earth. These are blades so sharp that if you ran at them, you would cut yourself in half. <laughs> so, all of that being said, can Wolverine cut through Superman? Well, I haven't mentioned the properties of Kal-El's skin until the very end of this video, because theoretically, if Wolverine's blades are nanoscale sharp and indestructible such that they will forever hold an edge and not break, then his claws could cut through anything with enough force. They can move in between Superman's cells. They can move in between his molecules. So yes, if Wolverine has them, ultra-thin blades are awesome enough to cut through even the Man of Steel. Because science. Thank you so much for watching, and you can now head to Instagram at SciFile for more behind the scenes videos and extra rants. At Sorcerer Soul asks, how does Starfleet communicate when they are so far away from each other? Well, they say it's subspace, but what you can do is master quantum entanglement. If you have two entangled particles, when you change the properties of one, it immediately changes the properties of the other, no matter how far they are away. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance, and he really didn't like it. But in theory, and this is true, if you mastered quantum entanglement, you can send a message here, type a message here, and they would instantaneously get it in Andromeda. That would be awesome. A very special thanks to Loot Crate for sponsoring today's episode of Because Science. Loot Crate is a monthly mystery crate for pop culture fans filled with exclusive items and apparel. And there are only a few days left to pick up this month's magical themed crate featuring items from Doctor Strange, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and more. Go to lootcrate.com slash because science and enter code because science. One word for 10% off. Okay, so I guess his claws get into the Statue of Liberty's crown, and then although they cut easily through the crown like butter, the friction carries him around and transfers uh, his momentum from linear into rotational and then back into linear as he lands in a different direction back on the thing. I think that's what's happening, but I hate that clip. <laughs>